we're going to tell you some facts about crocodiles that might surprise you. Surprise. Yeah, um, crocodiles are <clears throat> normally about um, if you. Um, um, normally they're about five meters long. And so how long is five meters? That's the size of that Just canoe. like the size of a canoe, right? A canoe. Or, or about a, um, five guitars. Oh yeah, lengthwise. Lay down length, lengthwise. A length of seventy-five years. About seventy years. Yeah. Okay. So they're very, um, they're very powerful. In fact, what? Ha how much pressure does the snap of a crocodile's jaws create? Like, okay, so when a crocodile snaps its jaws onto its victim, the pressure that it exerts is two ton. Two it can tons. be up to two ton for the larger and crocodile. That's like a missing pishy Pajero parking on you. Yeah. That's a lot is of pressure, okay? Is it a Mitsubi Mitsubishi? Mitsubishi? Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi Pajero. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Um, 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 my name's Squid and I like catching, catching um, lizards. lizards. <laughs> my name's Squeak and I like ice cream. I'm Papa and I enjoy food. Noodles. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so recently we stayed in a place called Hananara and in this place, towards like Darwin, uh, we spent about a week and a half, about 20 minutes off Kananara in a place called the Old River. And along the Old River, you can actually camp there right next to the river. When we got there, we had people tell us that they had seen a crocodile, which was, they said it could be about a five meter long crocodile. How long, how long is five meters? Canoe. Five, five canoes. So it's five like a, Guitars laid down, laying down like length wide. Length wide. Right. Lengths. Okay. Guitars are wide. And it's also like a, the length of a canoe, right? That's, yeah, how, yeah. that's how large this crocodile, mm. they yeah. said, some people, a few yeah. people, more than more than about two or three people said the same thing, right? What's so bad about a saltwater crocodile as opposed to a freshwater crocodile? The saltwater ones, saltwater ones are much they, bigger. Well, they are much bigger, but they are more out for like they're more so they're more hunting. dangerous. They but, could actually, yeah. yeah, kill people. But whereas the freshwater, they, fresh they, waters, they mm. just like they will attack you if you try and like if you. They feel cage, threatened. If you like cage, they feel like they're getting locked in. Right. So then that's when they'll strike. Yeah. But the saltwater ones will actually hunt. Well, they can hunt people, whereas the freshies, you know, they they get they they're sort of avoid one, people. They they don't just, really like people. They just go away. Anyway. We were camping along here for about a week and a half and then one night I got up one one morning about one o'clock in the morning I had my torch I shone it out there on the river and guess what I see staring back at us two eyes red eyes staring back up at, at me in the car outside the caravan it was pretty scary and you could just see it floating on the river like that and we saw this we saw this crocodile several nights after that that time we saw the same croc studying our movements and we found out later what was it doing we found out later when we spoke about it to someone that knew about crocodiles what was it doing it was stalking us that meaning it's trying to attack us it was planning its attack and so it was stalking us and studying our movements and you know what uh finding out when we were walking inside the caravan, when we were walking out, when was the best time to strike? Okay, and how big was the croc? Five, Five meters. According to canoe. some people, it was like a the length of a canoe and, and about five guitars. five guitars lengthwise. Okay, that's how long it could have been. Um, all right, what else did we see? In, now we're in Darwin at the moment, so what else did we see in Darwin, Ezra? We saw the monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they threw stuff at us. So um, we we went to a wildlife park named Crocodilus Park. You could go there if you come here. And we we went on a crocodile cruise and we fed this evil croc named Prince. Mm. He he was pretty evil. evil. Yeah. Mine's more evil. <laughs> 
I'll get to yours. Yeah, he was. So, so how large was Prince? Oh, five meters. He was five meters. A canoe. So how large? It's, it's like a, a the size of a, a canoe. 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 Right, and about the size of how many guitars? Lengthwise. Lengthwise, one yeah, after the other. Did, what did they eat? Oh, chicken heads. Chicken heads. Okay, so uh, we, we hopped into this bunch, little boat. Like that big bunch of chicken heads just tied together. Yes, and we saw that in a, in a boat. Um, and the tour guide, he put a put chicken on at the end of a stick and he swung it outside the boat. And these crocs, what would they do? And they'd pop themselves. They'd pop. <laughs> they would actually They'll, pop. They would actually come up from the river up like oh, jump up too. and they and, would and snap at the chicken when prince got angry he puffed he actually puffed himself up <laughs> and he started floating on the water like a big puff balloon he did actually yeah um so th that was a bit of a scary situation and we we're going to show you some footage of yeah. these crocs jumping out of the water and eating the chickens <laughs> Right on the nose, get a bit of reaction out of him. <laughs> he's acting like he's dead now. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> now he's opened up his eyes. They play tricks on you like that all the time. They're not stupid. Come on. Uh, Jesus. Just don't stick your arm out that little more time. <laughs> It's not the crocodile, Prince Don't worry about. It's the one I can't see, like Lucy. Because Lucy gets up very high and she's probably sitting over right here next to you guys. Okay. And she is all feeding right there. Oh, yeah. We'll feed her, but I'll get her on the other side. Just be careful with your hands, bro. And that's as high as you'll get. Best jump you'll ever get out of him, to be honest. Not if you haven't them. seen it already. Okay. So, so uh, that was that was Prince, and he was a mean croc because he wouldn't let the other ones eat, right? He wanted all the food to himself. You right, Zah? Mozzie? An evil Mozzie? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So he wanted all the food yeah. to himself. And right, he was selfish. Yes. Um, we went to feed another little croc that was just sitting in the water on sand and then the prince, the evil guy, came along and scared him away. Oh, the poor old croc got scared him what? <laughs> <laughs> now, I have a story, a story as well, uh, about uh, an evil, evil, evil crocodile. He, he was Even evil. Even more evil than Ezra's crocodile. I'll beat you. Um, and his name was Lucifer. And that was the name they gave to him. That was his, his actual name, wasn't it? Yeah. And, um, How big was he? Lucy. Five, uh, a, he was a canoe. He and was five <laughs> meters long. He, right, he was the size he, of the length of a canoe. Uh, he was a he was a kata. No, we, <laughs> no. he, we don't know his size. We actually saw him. him. Yeah, but we don't know what his size. He was, was. roughly a, about five meters long. Five meters long. He was yeah, roughly like long. yeah. yeah and, I, I would um, say at least he like. Was, yeah, we'll show you. We'll show you a picture of Lucifer. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But, so um, what's what about Lucifer? Tell us about Lucifer. So uh, he lived on a cattle station with his cows. He wasn't very nice to the cows though. Mm. Um, when they came to drink, he'd uh, grab one of their legs and pull it off, and watch them run away. And then they came back and he pulled the other leg off, and watched them run away. He's an evil, evil, so, evil, 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 evil no. crocodile. The reason it made it so evil was because he wasn't actually hungry. He didn't eat these cows, yeah. did he? Nah. He would just chomp on them and... Leave them. And leave them and then just go off and just leave it there. The Bible says that we, are, that we have a prince and we have a Lucifer, okay? In the Bible, there is a prince of this world. Who's the prince of this world? Um, Lu Lu Lucifer. Lucifer. The devil, right? The devil is the prince of this world. And Hadassah, can you um, read First Peter chapter five verse eight? What does it say? So First Peter five verse eight. What does it say? Um, <clears throat> uh, uh, be sober, be vigilant, because your your 
enemy the devil walks about like a roaring crocodile seeking whom he may devour. Oh, okay, we well, obviously put the word crocodile in there because we're talking about crocs, right? But what does the word sober mean? You're not drunk, you have a clear mind. Yeah. Yep, that's right. And vigilant, what is, what is vigilant? Um, Making sure your caravan doesn't get stolen. And not vigilant is when a security guard um, um, he's on a counting bank, all the people. he's counting the people and he doesn't realise he counts a thief and then the thief goes into the bank and steals the bank. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Steals the bank. <laughs> yeah. So it pays to be vigilant, okay? So to be vigilant means to be watchful. Now, mm -hmm. although, although we have an enemy, the devil, like a roaring croc, seeking whom he may devour, although we have an enemy like that in this world. Yeah, because... Yeah. yeah just like that croc was stalking us, right? In our walk, do you know that in, in the walk of the Christian walk, the devil wants us to, to, to catch us by surprise. Right? He wants to catch us by surprise. And often he does that when we're tired and we get impatient or when we're caught doing something wrong and then we start lying right things like that he wants to catch us by surprise so that it will become his prey right and fall into temptation but the there's a promise in the bible that gives us a lot of encouragement where's that found in joshua, joshua chapter one, one verse nine um, no, joshua okay good joshua one verse nine be strong and of a good courage be not afraid and be what does it say of a good courage be strong and of a good courage be not afraid God is with me Joshua 1 verse 9 alright so let's say it be strong and, and of a good, good courage, courage. Be, not be not afraid, afraid. neither be thou dismayed, dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with you, whithersoever thou goest. Joshua 1 verse 9. So even though there is a frog. And by the way, you know how we're going to... Yeah. Is it a yeah. thief? Is it a thief? Is it... Yeah. No. So, so guys, guys, we, we, we know there's a, an enemy that is roaring like a crocodile. But we also know that we have a greater God. God, that's right, that can help us defeat him, okay? So we are to be of mm -hmm. good courage. And so, ready? So, be, be of, of good, good courage, courage in your, your journey. journey. And your don't forget to subscribe and, and press the, click, press the click, 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 click,